to rob Kobe Run? Oh, I thought we were like a couple meters away from it. <laughs> Instead, I just rammed head first into the door. Perfect. Ah, it's a showcase room. Got to impress potential buyers. Vroom, vroom! Wee! Scring! Oh no! Whoop! Crash! Smush! Oh no, it's stuck! No, okay, I, I'm, I'm done playing with my Hot Wheels, it's fine. Hello. Oh, indoor Yaogwai, that is a... Wait, you're not a Yaogwai. Oh, it's a mole rat. Have I not fought a mole rat in a long time? For thinking it was a Yaogwai? They are quite different. That's not the right button. That one. There we go. Railway spikes, if we ever get that uh, weapon built. Definitely not what I was... Steam gauge assembly. Is that one of them? Yeah, it is. Fission battery and pressure cooker. I don't know what a pressure cooker is going to look like. Because it could just look like this. Hmm. I will try to keep an eye out. We still haven't found anything to fi that fires darts. Sensor module. I don't need a sensor module, right? I just read what the things were. Crutch. Fission battery, pressure cooker. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Five millimeter. It's like a crutch. <laughs> kind of. Okay, this is not the hallway I need to go into. Oh, hello. I'm a dancing little red roach on the floor. I deal no damage. But I'll call you a... Uh, not gonna end, Not gonna finish that sentence. Oh, hello. You know what? I kind of wish there was a flashlight in this game. I guess I could just raise the gamma. No one's stopping me from doing that. Oh, so many microfusion cells. That just, like, paid for the trip in and of itself. Hello. Goodbye. What is the point of this room? Like, there's catwalks, but I feel like you could make a staircase quite a bit smaller than this. Hello? Okay, this feels more like the factory we, we were in before. Or like the factory in the pit the mill. Feels kind of like that. Less jet all everywhere, though. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna let you be angry. <laughs> I don't know what you're fighting for, or fighting at. Yelling at? Screaming for? No, none of those words. Some of those words made sense together. Uh, go for it. No. What? No, net. Okay. Okay. I, I, I don't think you understand. I want to go to the rad roach to the right. Come on. Why does it only see one rad roach? Like, that's not even the one that I saw without going into vats. There's one... There was one right here. Maybe Fox killed it. Maybe that's why I couldn't switch to it. I love you, buddy. You're a bit, you're a bit silly when you're charging f forth. Oh, hello. Is there a terminal somewhere to control this? Because I would love to get... Ooh, fission battery! I am very glad I did the... Declaration of Independence before doing this. Otherwise, I would not know to keep these items. All right, we have two books to read. Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. That's gonna be uh, barter. Yeah, and d this should, I mean, this will just be medicine, right? Yeah. Okay. Is there actually no terminal? Stealth Boy. 
Like, there's three terminals, but there's no functioning terminal. This poor Protectron. Pow powered up and waiting. Apparently, we will never need that Protectron. Assuming that they went to sleep with the same slogan as Master Chief did. Oh, dear. Hey. Okay, you got the Rad Roach. Wake me when you need me. Terminal gets broken off the wall. Aw, oh, crap. Hello. Robco production mainframe. Install the widget. Hopefully this doesn't make all of the Protectrons mad at me. Oh crap, why did I have to say it? Reprogram the mainframe? How do I do that? Do I have to click it again? Oh, we're over encumbered. I need to get rid of stuff. Uh, get rid of the blood pack. Do I have extra... This thing kind of sucks. I can get rid of that. Sure. All right. Locked average. I can do this. Reverence. <laughs> Welcome to the Rob Co. Facilities Robot Master Terminal. How can I assist you this fine day? Cease total liquidate. Uh, basic operation. Nope. Initiate pest extermination? Sure. Cool. I don't know what initiate stress testing means, though. Oh. Oh, dear. Sure. Okay. I think this is... Oh, total liquidation liquefies everyone. I see. Okay. Maybe I should switch this back. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, cease total liquidation. Let's check the orientation guide. Basic operation... Blah, blah, blah. Pest extermination kills the stuff we want to kill. Let's not do total liquidation. Okay, I think we're good the way we are. And we'll walk up to them and they won't be angry. Well, they will, but just not at me. I'm not taking that 60% chance. To permanently break it? No, uh-uh. Oh, new enemies. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, we're not getting our level up screen, but there it is. I can't quite get Barter to 80. I can get Barter to 60. I don't know what the breakpoints are. I can't remember if it's 50, 75. I don't even know if there are breakpoints. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> In Outer Worlds, it's every 20 levels of each, you get a new perk. I don't know what it is here. Speech, small guns, medicine up to 80, I'm happy with. We could do lockpick. Lockpick or barter? I want to be able to buy ammo. Let's put you up to 60, and then let's take lockpick up to 60 as well. We have four points left. Uh, uh, medicine again, I guess? Or lockpick? Uh, let's go medicine. Level 22, what do we get? Quantum chemist. You have unlocked the secret to creating Nuka-Cola quantum. Oh, right, this. <laughs> you get... Every 10 Nuka-Colas turns into a Nuka-Cola quantum. What a deal. You sleep deeply no matter where you are. That's kind of nice, but I feel like there's going to be more things I care about on the map. So explorer, I'm thinking about it. Puppies... I still don't know where to get dog meat, so these perks are useless to me. <laughs> okay. Oh my word. Additional five points of unarmed damage per rank. I... Okay. There's some... There's some merits, I think, to an unarmed build in this game. Like, I think there were some other perks somewhere that, that looked quite interesting. Like Paralyzing Palm... Special Vats Palm Strike that paralyzes your opponent for 30 seconds. Cool. And you have to be completely unarmed. Okay. Price of every item you buy from a vendor is reduced by 25%. Oh, dear. So more money or just kind of a cool thing to, like, plan a route around? 
Hmm. Impartial meditation. I don't need that. More Nuka Cola caps. Let's just do intense training. Sure. Why not? We can take our strength up. We can take our charisma up. Let's go intelligence. More skill points. We're still we still have a couple levels to go where that can be useful, I think. Did I reprogram it? I mean I did. I just want to make sure that Yeah, okay, good. You have something to say? Sorry. Sorry, Fox, I meant to close that door right right to the left of you. This is not the exit. <laughs> Very much the opposite. It is a complete dead end. Okay, they're fighting the pest problem. Hello? Yeah, you gave it a shot. Have a good eternity, I suppose, friends. Try not to... Try not to get a part broken off, because I don't think you're getting maintenance anytime soon. I think I missed. But it would have been cool if I hit it. <laughs> this isn't the exit! Wow, there are a lot of Protectrons. Eh, they'll, they'll be fine. Rad Roaches are not exactly the tankiest. Literally the first enemy we fight in the game. Unless you count that fence that the baby has to go by. Okay, how do I leave? I don't want to die. And I don't want to be trapped here forever. Don't break your legs? Don't break your legs. Perfect. Yay! Front of the building! And we didn't break our legs. Let's go. So, we can return to Moira at some point. I'm guessing that these are Robco robots that got released, yeah? Mr. Handy, oh, Sergeant... Oh, who are you? Tinker Joe. Hello, stranger. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout Hello. the sea wasteland. And you have robot friends that you built? That's so cool. What are you selling? Have a look and see for yourself. Conductor, paint gun, plunger. Okay, none of these are useful to me. But uh, you have 90 caps, so... <laughs> I I guess have some jet. <laughs> We're just going around the wasteland selling hard drugs to people for fun. That's... Uh, no, I'm sure he's a very shrewd businessman. He'll be okay. <laughs> Another satisfied Can customer. I buy a robot? I'm afraid these bots are all spoken for. I'm just delivering them now. Oh. I've got a custom gutsy that isn't spoken for, but... Well, RL3's a bit finicky about the company he keeps, and I don't think he likes the look of you. Nothing personal, of course. I can't buy your robot because he doesn't like me? I'm afraid... Well, apparently they care more about what robots think in this than in, uh... And in Star Wars, I don't want to go. Okay, dear. It, you'll be okay. I'll take care of you. Tinker Joe. I, okay. That's, that's, oh, we were going to check out the hotel quickly. Or maybe not quickly, depending on if it has an interior space or not. Tinker Joe is such a cool character that I just, like... Was, and was not expecting to see. Like, Tinker Joe might have a home somewhere, but I'm guessing not. I think he's probably just a nomad that, like, builds robots and sells them to people. Which is super cool. Deathclaw? Deathclaw. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Red Rocket Gas? Uh, yeah, perfect. You know what? We get dog meat in Fallout 4 at a red rocket gas. Maybe the No, I don't think so. Probably not. But maybe. No, probably not. But what? No, I... 
you can probably only have one companion at a time, even if it's an animal, and Fox is doing a lot of good work here, so. He can kiss my ass. Oh, hello. He's got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. We're not Who zombies. You calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell uh, the difference between me and a feral? Poor ghouls. Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. Hey, Roy. Okay, I will not talk I to you. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. I'm not you Roy. I want your goddamn caps. And I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. This is a good first impression. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? What? Oh. Lift shirt. No, that's... Sorry about that. No, that's... I thought you that's were what one this of those damn anyway. ghouls looking for a handout. Loading ready run crap shot. You are currently I don't remember what it's called. Tenpenny's private property. They yeah, did it better than what here. I just did. I'm not going to kill all the ghouls just to get in the hotel. I'm here to see Tenpenny, apparently. <laughs> That's rich. What would a man like Tenpenny want to do with a waste rat like you? I mean, I have like 5,000 caps. I have a lucrative offer for Tenpenny. Let me in or you'll come to regret it. I don't know what the lucrative offer I'm talking about is, but if it gets me in... Just a minute. Let's not be hasty. If Tenpenny is interested in what you have to say... I suppose you should get your chance. Sweet. Though he normally conducts all his business through Mr. Burke. If Ten uh -oh. doesn't want to talk to you... That's you the guy we killed in Megaton, call. isn't it? If you bother Mr. Tenpenny or any of Tried to friends, get him arrested, but I will be very that didn't quite work out. I show you out. Do we understand each other? Good. Aaron Burke, Hello. sir. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Hey, buddy. Don't do anything. Stupid. No promises. Because that's what my specialty is. <laughs> Ten Penny Tower Lobby. Fox. Hey, buddy. No ghouls, but super mutants. They're allowed in. Metahumans. Excuse me. Ten pennies probably at the roof. Elevator? Nope. Gotta be an elevator. There can't not be an elevator. Anthony Ling, who are you? Yes. Howdy. Those clothes are atrocious. You should stop by my shop. New Ooh. urban apparel and freshen up that look. Up I'm wearing power armor. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh. All right. Ta-ta. Ta-ta, Mr. Anthony. Good hat. Dr. Banfield. Hey. There's a whole town here. I'm off duty. Come back when... Uh, what the hell? Let's just get it over with. I'm Dr. Banfield. What do you need? Uh, what's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? People are healthy here. They eat well and have a strong roof over their head. I am a little shocked by how healthy everyone looks. Tenpenny is very selective about who he allows to live here. The correct genes and living conditions make for a relatively disease-free environment. Okay. Free water is still a concern, sure. of course. But we've got enough chems to keep the radiation sickness at bay. That's why he won't allow those ghouls to live here. Why introduce a weakness into a healthy system? I mean... <sighs> sure, they look a little weird, but they're not diseased vermin. Well, uh, I guess I must confess... I've never examined a ghoul up close. You're right. I shouldn't make assumptions. Dr. Bamfield. Not going headfirst into... Being up... Going headfirst into ghoul hating. Hey, Fox, can you uh, move out of the doorway, please? Thank you. I was worried I was going to have to toggle collision on that just to get out. Hello? Oh, my God. This is the elevator? I looked, I went up there to look for it. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I was like, let me, let me click the button. 
Just this way? Oh, this one has Mr. a fancy Tenpenny rug. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. I'm here to see Tenpenny, but if you weren't so incompetent, you'd know that already. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in. Get but wrecked. But if Tenpenny hollers because he isn't expecting you... I am the guest yeah. you're looking for. Thank you, miscellaneous guard. Cute garden. In a bath? Definitely a nice place to live. Hello, Greetings, hello. Alistair. Fancy that. A visitor. I seldom get visitors, which is a tiresome Whoa, that thing is a... Because I'm usually relentless. Different voice than I was expecting. Mind. All of these confounded people fluster about like I'm made of eggshells and about seeming. to fall to pieces in any moment. I'm surprised they even let you in. So, what do you think of my fine tower here? It's quite the jewel of the wasteland, isn't it? I dare say I'm quite proud of it myself. I... Indeed, I'm extremely impressed. Right All the light bulbs when seem I saw to work. this place jutting up out of the horizon, I knew what I had to do. I hired some muscle, and we got this place fixed up right quick. I had the great fortune to run into Mr. Burke, an absolute gem uh -oh. of a man. He certainly has a way of getting done what needs to get done, doesn't he? Then it was a matter of getting the right type of tenants with the right type of assets, and the rest is... there going to be dialogue for him story. being dead? Um, gotta go. Good day. Okay. Apparently, I have no reason to talk to this guy. <gasps> uh. Oh, cool. You, they, they have a view from the roof? Or not the roof, but high up. Fire pole, fire pole, fire pole. Come on, fire pole. That's not a fire pole. Metal door inaccessible. Fair. Fair enough. Metal door inaccessible. Okay. I cannot survive a drop that high. I will die. Tenpenny tower empty. Sweet. Hmm. I think you could probably move into this place if you did the right quests. Like maybe not kill Mr. Burke. He wanted to... Okay. I don't feel bad about killing Mr. Burke because he killed the sheriff. So... Oh my god, let me out. Uh... How do I get out? There we go. Oh. Oh. Scaring myself. Elevator. Here we go. Actually, what's this? This is the empty one? Yep. Who else lives up here? Uh, Irving Cheng. I am Comrade Cheng, beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community. How can I help you? What? Not very bright, are you? Don't worry, Comrade. Even the least of us have a small, though important role to play in the community. For example, I've appointed a committee to discuss this problem with the ghouls trying to get in here. You know anything about ghouls? Ooh. Hmm. It will take more than a committee to deal with the problem. I think I can help. That's wonderful, comrade. Truly wonderful. Before you go ghoul hunting... No, I'm not going ghoul son. hunting. He might be able to help you. Uh, what do you think of the situation with the ghouls? I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, comrade. Perhaps, comrade, the ghouls will join your committee, comrade. Are you mocking me, comrade? No, comrade. Comrade. Okay. So we talked to Gustavo. And then... I'm hoping that when we go ghoul hunting, we, get, we can leave. And then we get a chance to talk to them before... I'm deciding. Not here for your You're not Gustavo. Where's Gustavo? Gustavo, I need you. Is this you? No. Oh, yeah, it is. Huh? Hey, buddy. You got something to say? Uh. You got an armament supply. Want to do some trade? I guess we oh, can do a little. Cool. Apparently, he's also a merchant. 
Let's grab some MS cells. Sure. Do I have anything else to sell? We had a bun we had quite a few miscellaneous things. Death claw, poison gland. We don't need two fission batteries. Are we good? We are good. Okay. Give me a shout if you need How's the ghoul else? situation coming? That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keep showing up, looking for a handout. Keenest kind aren't wanted. End of story. Dun -dun. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent. Oh, soon. let me side with them. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits. Or I'd gladly end this thing. This definitely feels all. like a we can get convinced by the ghouls to help them. Perhaps the residents could be persuaded to let the ghouls live here. You're out of line. Those filthy bitches can stay living Ooh. in the echo tunnels. They'll move in here over my dead body. <laughs> that may happen sooner than you think. That can be arranged. You don't look like... No. Uh, we, we, we won't be that uh, straight up aggressive this early. We'll see. Whatever. Whatever, dude. I'm going to find a non-violent solution to your Google problem. That's a laugh. Roy Phillips can't be reasoned with. Trust me. But go ahead and try to talk some sense into well, him. Well, from this short conversation with you, I'm pretty sure you do not have speech 100, so we'll see. Feral ghouls. They've barred the main entrance. Go through the train yard. Good they, luck, kid. Do they really live with feral ghouls? I didn't think that was a thing that they did. Maybe feral ghouls don't, like, get hostile to them? I don't know. All right. Switch to. Oh, we don't have a quest for this. This is this is unmarked. All right. What am I doing? Why am I why am I switching things around? I don't know. I think I was trying to just do that. Okay, this door doesn't work. How do I get out? I'm on duty. Please. Direct your security concerns to Chief. Can I actually not leave? Like, this door just doesn't work. Oh! Wait. What? Oh. Huh. Okay, cool. Roy Phillips walked off this way. Let's check the map and see... The tunnels? I don't know what tunnels they're talking about. Wish I'd paid closer attention. <laughs> Roy Phillips! Hello there! Oh, there we go. That definitely looks like a metro station entrance. Don't see anyone. Or anything. You are surprisingly quiet. Must be your stride. Warrington Station. Quite a distance from the other stations, but... Requires a key? Okay. How do I... How do I get in there, then? To talk to Roy Phillips. This is not a terminal. This is not a terminal. Huh. Okay. Let's head back to the Ten Penny Tower. Uh, open the door. Give me a second. Keep your. Okay. Let's talk to you about doing this. I'm oh, not you're not Chief right Gustavo. Here. Sorry. Yo. Hey there. Gusty. Please. What? I can help with your ghoul problem. Where are they hiding? Really? You? You're welcome to give Apparently, a Apparently, I did not don't come do enough dialogue. To get hurt. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. Give me a key. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Be careful. Roy seems damn close to turning zombie himself. I suppose you won't be doing this out of the kindness of your heart, hmm? 
house 500 bottle caps sound payable upon term we will see uh you want this problem resolved or not you can spare more well, than that maybe you're right 200 and 700 here, total but you and a rifle and Roy ammo Phillips and sweet his gang is somewhere in warrington station metro tunnels oh right they, they barred, barred the main, main entrance. entrance thank you Try going through i completely train. forgot about that earlier okay Nonviolent. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Goodbye. Tenpenny Tower. Kill Roy Phillips and his followers. So long, random guard. Train station. Even if I had heard train station without the marker, I don't think I would have went this way. How far away is it? Not very. Not very. It's pretty close. Okay, there are hostiles. Oh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, You're dead, me nice ambush. <laughs> Come on, have a crutch. No crutch. You're the second one. Oh, we got a finger. You took zero damage from that. I wonder if that was a bug or like every weapon just has a percentage chance to do nothing. Because that could be brutal. Oh, here's the train yard. I see it now. It's got like the train car. Okay, we got a glowing one. That that's That's fine. That won't be an issue. 38%? Go for it. Oh, nice hit. And we got a close-up of the glowing one. Okay, the fact that we hit two for two on a 40% shot, I'm very pleased. Alright, glowing ones are a four-shot kill with this thing. As long as we cripple something. Into the train yards. You coming, buddy? Eastbound Warrington, westbound train yard, okay. I don't see anyone. I'm going to be regularly pressing V to scan with VATS. Not like this, because that's obnoxious to listen to, but, you know. Just so we don't get spooked. I guess just keeping my eyes open would probably be helpful as well. Okay. Thank you. I missed. Oh, thank you. Carton of cigarettes. Perfect. Whew. This thing's good, but, uh... When there's like three fast enemies running towards you, it's not the gun you want. <gasps> okay. Sometimes I think about playing a horror game on for the channel and then I'm like, oh, Half the audio would just be me going, <gasps> or, ah! and maybe that's, maybe that's not a bad thing, but it's, uh, I don't know. Half of my thoughts interrupted by myself yelping and then forgetting what I was talking about. Yeah, like that doesn't happen in fall while I'm playing Fallout. Hello? Okay. Oh, there's... Didn't even notice. Oh, dear. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that that can was stationary. Did not expect the enemy to throw it. Hello? Can I hit another station? You are glowing. Do you have a ranged attack or something? 
Reaver. Ooh. <gasps> you are very cool. Stay down. This is going to be a lot easier for for you if, if you just lay down. Oh. oh, don't wait. Heal. Heal, not wait. Okay. I win again. You do. You do. Congratulations. Ghoul Reaver. New enemy. Employees only. That was a good shot. No, no. Sorry, sorry for stealing your kill, Fox. I know you want all the kills, but can't we share sometimes? I okay. Never mind. Apparently you get all the kills because I'm good at shooting between people's legs. Let's go until like seven. And then when we get out, it'll be like probably nine or ten. Depending on how long we take. War. The revolution starts here. The ghoul-volution. The rev -volution? Put your weapons away. Come over here. No funny business, unless you want to get shot. So then I said, anyway, okay. Weapons away. You hear that? Weapons away. Okay, we're good. There you are. Hello. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. I'm here to see Roy Phillips. Oh yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. Hmm. I'm not gonna spill the beans too soon. Because maybe these guys are awful. And we don't want to side with them. I doubt it, but maybe. Okay, if my objective is over there, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Capital Wasteland. Hey, we unbarricaded it. <laughs> All right, now we can use the normal entrance. The close entrance. How do I get to him? Like, this looks blocked off. Oh, do we have to go down here? Yeah, there we go. He had us come upstairs, but we did, that wasn't for the objective, that was for his own, his own sanity. Bloop. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't say they're living with the feral ghouls. More like living barricaded from them. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Where does this end up? Eastbound something station. This has got to be the objective. There's the, all these side corridors. Steam gauge assembly. We have that. We need a crutch, which I don't see anywhere. So many shopping carts down here. Empty shopping carts. Oh, hello. No. Hello, Bessie Lynn. Oh, hello. I hello. Am Bessie Lynn. I, I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I, I hope you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. Nice to meet you, Bessie. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone. But someone like you... Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that. Hmm. Gotta go. Stay out of trouble. Yes. Watch it, well, you? the two people we've talked to thus far seem... Nice enough? Michael Masters? Oh, put your gun away. What do you want? I killed a bunch of crazy ghouls in the metro tunnel. So you killed a bunch of I don't know why I'm telling him that. I'm just feeling impressive. impressed. I got no compassion left for those mindless freaks. 
but they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth-skinned bastards like yourself. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, not much to say other than Gustavo hired me to kill you. Is that so? He isn't man enough to do it himself? Nope. Sends a boy to do his dirty work. I, I think you got what it okay, takes. Okay, yeah, I am kind of a boy. I'm still like 19. I forgot about that. Hmm. I, I'm not going to kill you. I see. That's smart of you. I'd lay you flat if you tried anything stupid. So don't. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. They can't keep us out of that tower forever. Can I help? Oh, yeah. I might be able to get you in. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. <laughs> Drop well, mini nukes on them. Brethren on them. Oh, All those bigoted crap. sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Uh huh. I don't feel like releasing feral ghouls. Let me try talking to Tenpenny. Maybe he wouldn't mind you living there. Ah, those snooty bitches probably can't stand living with each other, let alone with us. I suppose, yeah, fair enough. Try talking to Tenpenny if you like. But it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on him. Okay. Bye. Help the ghouls get into Tenpenny or kill Roy Phillips and his followers. We are going to hopefully help the ghouls get into the tower. Bye, Michael. Thank you for the help. Is there a closer exit? Let's 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 check quickly. Uh Wait, why is there one there? Oh, to kill Roy Phillips. Right, yeah, okay. We'll just try and ignore that that quest marker for now. There's probably an exit out here. Like, it's a sub. It's a subway station. And there's, like, barricades. Boop. I missed, but I hit a, the, another one. Shoot, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, I got hit. But we're good. Get absolutely dusted, Feral Ghoul Reaver. Okay. Oh! For some reason, I thought you'd get knocked back the second time as well. <gasps> I was at full health. Not that long ago. Apparently melee attacks hurt. It's been a while since I've died. Or at least, it's been a while since I've remembered I died. Okay, let's get out of here. Kill Roy Phillips and his followers. No, I'm not. I have to go talk to him. Our steps must be measured. I can't believe that it was this long ago. I mean, I guess most of the time between when we were here and when we died was mostly in dialogue. Like, it's not that long a walk, but still. <laughs> Roy, I'm here to speak and to be listened to, preferably. Yes, nice to meet you. other person that I don't remember the name of because you're not a quest giver Bessie Lynn thank you hey, be more careful. or a quest specific person what do you want Gustavo hired me to kill you so yep uh, it's just a warning I'm not gonna kill Ten you penny. might be able to get you in there let me try talking to Tenpenny uh, gotta go bye bye all right now we can leave <laughs> save perfect don't have to talk to Roy for this exact piece of dialogue ever again. Michael. Oh, Michael. So we died going that way, but we were very close to an exit. So as long as I save, we're, we should be fine. I shot 
between two legs and off some and off a shoulder, like just just to the side of a shoulder. Get him. Nice. I don't even know what killed you. Apparently he just kept shooting. Brr. Okay, every sneak attack is an auto crit, right? That was not considered a sneak attack. Marvelous. Get him, Fox. Get him. Headshot. Ooh. We got the stun. We got the crit. Maybe the stun only happens on crit. Oh. Oh. That was good. That was extremely good. All right, I'm going to try and focus on this guy because he's going to... I was going to say die pretty quick, but I wasn't thinking quite that quick. Twelve bottle caps. I overestimated by quite a bit. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me! Oh, it's just a dead end over here? I thought there was an exit. Okay. I suppose we're walking back. The walk of shame after finding a dead end. Hmm... Closest exit is that way down the tunnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the that's where we met Roy. And then up here is where we met Michael. Marvelous. Now to remember where we went after this. Or before this, I suppose. Blue Line Train Yard. Oh, that's why there's a subway system all the way out here. Because that's where the train yard for the whole area is. Is this the exit way? It's right above us? Okay. I don't know which staircase goes to where we want it to go, but... We're going, we're taking this one. At Warrington Station, please. There we are. Nope, that's where I came from. Oh dear. Oh, right, this is where we came from. Wait, how do I get out? Okay. I'm a little concerned. Feeling a little lost now. Uh, okay. Let's go back through the door and check the map. So I'm not completely lost. This is definitely where we came from in the first. Oh, there's an exit to the cat. Right, this exit. Okay. Yes, I remember this. We, we walked through it. I just couldn't remember where it was. I forgot it was accessible up here, right? Yeah. I definitely thought it was further. An escape, the sunlight, the day. Oh. <sighs> Hello? Ah, all right. Fast travel. Gotta go to the world map. Tenpenny Tower. I need to speak with Mr. Tenpenny. Just a moment. All right. Elevator, straight forward. And then once we're out of the elevator, we go to the right, right? Not ready to take on those ghouls after all? That's me. Complete coward. Mr. Tin... Where does this go? Oh, this goes outside. Right. Yes. Monsieur Tenpenny, are you still in your bedroom? Uh, hello? Dude? Uh... Maybe he's downstairs.
Security guard. Good to see you. Resident. Not ready to take on those ghouls after all? Huh? You take care of those ghouls yet? Is this who I'm supposed to talk to here? Oh, I thought I was going to go talk to Tenpenny himself. I've met them. Roy Phillips and those other ghouls don't seem all that bad. Look, kid. I don't care what you think about them. Unless Tenpenny says otherwise. They aren't allowed in here. End of story. Quit wasting my time. If okay, bye, Gustavo. I guess that's it. I guess we're done. No, I'm going to... Try and get them in here next time. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, and bye.